morning everyone. What a treat I have for you today. This mushroom, here we go, is called monkey head mushroom. Uh, there's um, different other <clears throat> mushrooms that are similar to this, like the lion's mane or the, uh, the bear's beard. And this one is called monkey head. Now, I remember buying a package similar to this, which is finished by now because we've consumed it. And I bought this way back last year and I never did anything with it because I would just sit in there and say, what am I going to do with those ugly looking mushrooms? And it would sit there, sit there. And finally, I said to my daughter, I says, you know what? I got to try these mushrooms like it or not, I'm going to try it. So I put them to soak. And when I finally put them to soak, they started to grow all these long tentacles on it as the water would hydrate it. And I was like totally freaked out. I said, what kind of mushroom is this? I said, but you know what? I'm going to try doing something with this because obviously, uh, since I became vegan, I'm always trying to get creative and try and make beautiful dishes out of foods that are all plant-based. So here we go. I'm going to show you what I did with this is I took a small pail or a small bowl and I put them to soak. That's the first thing you do. And you have to let them soak. You're going to see the water is going to get really yellow. And my next video, I'm going to show you for sure when I soak them and show you the water. I'm going to show you the whole process. But I was so excited, I had to make a small vlog about this mushroom. Now, you put them to soak. And it's going to make this yellow water and you're going to keep dumping that water out and it's going to look like a sponge. You're going to grab these mushrooms and you're going to squeeze them in your hands, get all that water out. The water is going to smell kind of funky, but don't worry about that. Do, do not get scared. Just throw out that water. Keep adding clean water and do this for the whole day and let, uh, let them sit in the water in the refrigerator. Get them all nice and clean for yourself. Next step is, I'm going to show you. This is the broth. I took these mushrooms and I cooked them in a broth. And what I did was I used a little bit of soy sauce, a little bit of water. I put some, um, I put a bay leaf in there. I put some garlic. I put a couple of basil leaves because I had them handy on my stove. And a little bit of olive oil, some salt, and I cooked them in this broth. Now I'm going to show you what they look like. And this is what they look like after they have been cooked. Yes, they look freaky. Yes, freaky deaky. They're really not very pretty to look at. But let me tell you something. This is going to change your vegan life forever. I promise you. I'm sure if you can see it, but there's broth that comes out of it. I'll show you. See? how the water comes out of it because it still has broth in it and what I did was I turned this into a steak believe it or not you're probably wondering how are you going to turn this big blob of mushroom into a steak this is a smaller mushroom that I tested I just want to show you guys look at that it is almost like meat do you see how this pulls apart? Look at that. Look at the texture of this mushroom. If you taste this, I fried this up with a little bit of olive oil and some steak spice. And when I tell you that this is the bomb.com, it is one of the most amazing flavors and tastes I've ever tasted in my whole life. And I couldn't swallow it because I'm doing a water fast. But I did put it in my mouth just to taste it, and then I did spit it out, unfortunately. But this is going to be my daughter's because it's not the first time uh, we've cooked this. My daughter loves them. She thinks it tastes just like meat. The flavor is like meat. The texture is like meat. And I am going to be making so many recipes for you guys with this one mushroom. You're going to be blown away. So, um... I'm going to just introduce this mushroom for you for now. It's going to be a very small video, but I'm going to show you how I, uh, how I cook this later on. And it'll be at the bottom of this video. If you keep going, you're going to see how I cook it and how I present this dish when I do cook it and what I use to season it. Now, you can just simply put some ketchup on the side of your plate 
and you could dip it. How is it possible that this mushroom can taste like meat, feel like meat under your mouth? Well, it does. So here you go, guys. Monkey head mushrooms. Uh, you will find this at an Asian market. You will not find this at your local, local grocery store. If you're lucky, you'll find it also fresh. I've only found it dry, but you do have to rehydrate it. And you do want to take off this big butt at the end. But don't throw that away because you could always put that in something. So I'm going to show you. You just cut it off right at the base. So that's what you're going to do. You're just going to remove that big core and then we cook this. So do not be afraid of how it looks because when you cook it, it looks like a piece of meat. Isn't that amazing? And this is a mushroom, guys. Now this one here, I didn't remove the butt. But because I don't mind. I'm not going to get very picky. My family doesn't mind. They just eat it. But you can have that butt, butt removed when you're cooking it. So I'm going to show you a quick way of making this, this mushroom. And then as you know, the weeks go on, I'm going to keep throwing in a new recipe for you just to show you how I utilize this mushroom in meals. And it's very high in iron, very high in iodine, very high in minerals so uh, if you are going vegan or you are vegan mushrooms are and mushrooms are very nutritional and nutritional food plus the health benefits on this mushroom is totally out of this world it's very good for your mind nervous system so it's a must go guys so i'm going to put this back on here okay then i'm going to show you now i made a nice little uh, steak sauce and it was a very simple one. I didn't go the long way where you uh, Do it all the way from scratch. What I did was I took a little bit of that broth that I had left over Which by the way, don't throw this broth away You could always make a fantastic lentil soup with this because your mushrooms are already clean So this is mushroom flavors soy flavor garlic. This is going to be fantastic in any soup. So don't throw that away and I made a very light sauce. Of course, I used my uh, a little bit of that, uh, a little bit of my broth, and play around with it, guys. I'm just giving you a little idea how I did it, but you play around with your own ingredients and see what works best for you. So I put a little bit of that broth. I, I put a little bit of Diana sauce, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of steak spice, crushed garlic. I used just a little bit of my uh, ketchup with sriracha now I use that one because it has a little heat in it but if you don't want to just put a little bit of ketchup and just thicken it up till you get a nice little thick sauce and you could always use this at the bottom of your plating when you serve the little steaks that you're gonna make so here's a little sauce very simple very delicious and you don't have to sit there and try and make everything from scratch you could just use some of the ingredients you have at home very very easy so here we go I'm gonna put this aside for now first thing you're gonna do you're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in your pan I'm using a small pan just to show you a small sample so I don't have to cook them all up right now because I'll be doing some later and you want to put a little bit of steak spice if you haven't tried Montreal Steak Spice, you got to try it. But I make my own, which is a nice little taste. And it's similar to that one. And I'll link my, um, I'll link the spice recipe at the bottom of the video. So there you go. You're going to put a little bit of that. You're going to take, let's put this aside again. You're going to take one of these mushrooms, such as this one. You're just going to squeeze it and get some of the water out. You're not going to be able to get all the water out, but you will be able to get some. Take off that butt end, because that's a little tougher, even to flatten out in your pan. And here we go. We've got our mushroom ready. I know it looks funky, guys. But what you're going to do is you're going to put them in your pan, and you're going to squish it with... We're going to sprinkle a little bit of salt. Now be careful, if you're buying steak spice, check 
for salt because your steak spice might have salt. Mine is not as salty as the one that you uh, you do buy, so I don't mind putting a little bit of salt on. And we're gonna take it over to the stove. The trick is to press it down. Now I took most of the water out, but you can leave some water in your mushroom and just keep letting it cook. Now, I put it on a lowish heat so that the mushroom will not burn on you. And just keep pressing it down and keep cooking this mushroom up. Keep adding oil because the mushroom will absorb it. Here, let me. So Erica, what do you think about the flavors of this mushroom? Delicious. What does it taste like? It's very meaty. Like I said, if you guys don't like uh, too much oil, don't use that much oil, use just a bit and then slowly just let it cook. And also, very... The texture, yes. You see it? Stringy. Yes. And it smells just like meat, guys. Really scary. Someone who doesn't know and comes to my house, they would think that I cooked up some meat. Yeah. Breaks apart like meat. Breaks apart like meat. Now, if you don't want them as thick as this one, what you could do is cut them in half and make smaller steaks. Which I should show you how. And I did mention when I did cook it, I cooked it in the broth for uh, a minimum of 30 minutes. You want these to get soft. This little guy seems to be a little... Maybe I should use a different mushroom, eh? And it's still good. Hey. I wish I had a press. Something like this. There we go. Flatten that mushroom down. There we go. I need to get a little more oil. So low heat guys, do not go crazy and put this on a high heat. There we go. Now this one is a little stubborn so I will press it down but otherwise you don't have to press it as hard as I am right now. It's thick. Yeah, this one was a thick one. That's good. Eh? It's still good. It's still good. So the idea is to press it down, get most of the water out. Um, you don't want it over dry either because it will get dry on you. Not dry that you can't eat it, but it'll feel like a piece of meat that has been overcooked. So. Uh, there you go guys and I'm just going to plate this up for you and show you how pretty this little dish is.